So we all know by now that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are divorcing. Jennifer is choosing to do so and the real reasons are being revealed. But at the same time, I can't help but ponder on interesting contrasts and I will explain. Hey guys, that's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into this. Please do subscribe. So. Jennifer Lopez has cited um, irreconcilable differences as the reason for her split. She, according to the Daily Mail, was tired of being humiliated by Ben and she waited until the two year anniversary because she wanted it to sting, an insider has stated. But it did not sting him. He's been done for a long time and deep down she knows this. He let her have this so that she wouldn't look like the villain. The timing of a divorce was a big F you to Ben. Lopez also listed the date as 26th of April and waived the right to spousal support and asked the judge to deny Affleck's support. She requested that Affleck be dropped as her last name as well. So she's completely done with him. Completely. Per TMZ sources, the estranged couple did not even have a prenup. Lopez was in New York the day of the separation as she was gearing up to co-host the Met Gala. Split rumours initially took off when she attended the annual fashion event and walked the red carpet solo without the Oscar winner on May the 6th. Ben Affleck would later move out of the 60 million home as well and because no prenup was obviously put in place, things can also get quite nasty when it comes to what could take place in court. We're older now, we're smarter now, and we have more experiences. We're at different places in our lives when it comes to talking about a second shot at love. So of course, this divorce is one thing and one thing only. Nasty between these two, they're completely over each other. Animosity is there, the second shot of love was nothing but a fable, a lie. It's just not happening between these two. It is over, it is donezo between Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. This is rocked Hollywood, America, everybody's been discussing it over the past 24 to 48 hours. But I can't help but ponder, and maybe this is me discussing a form of karmic flow or this is me just being messy unintentionally I don't mean to be but I do think that this year that Jennifer Lopez has had has arguably been one of the worst years of her career why because she was announcing for the past two years about a brand new album coming out which terribly flopped all of the singles that she desperately attempted to remix also fell out the charts immediately. Not only that, but the highly anticipated tour was not highly or anticipated. The tour within itself did not sell out and she had been forced to cancel and reflected on the fact that she wanted to spend time with her family and friends. And that is why she's not doing this tour when you can do both. And you know, she could easily have made time for her family and friends prior to the tour. So the excuse didn't make sense. It was basically giving my tour is not selling, the money is not profitable, the seats are not going, the album is not doing what it needs to do, I need to obviously head out and find an excuse and cancel everything because brands, insurance, everybody is just not on board with it. Not only that, then we have this divorce. There are three things, horrific album, horrific tours, and of course, a tour being cancelled and now a divorce all of the year of 2024 and late 2023, it's not been a good year for Jennifer Lopez at all. But you know who has had a great year? Ashanti. She obviously has gotten what she's wanted. She's back with Nelly. Yes, there might have issues here and there, but she's back with Nelly. She's obviously pregnant. She's talking about trimester and giving birth. It's such a great time for her. And I can't help but think Ashanti was pivotal. Ashanti was important to the growth of Jennifer Lopez. And I feel like Jennifer Lopez took a lot of credit from other singers like Mariah, like Ashanti, and obviously ran with it and ended up having a successful early on career, which to me was in intriguing. And now there's a point where, you know, Mariah or Ashanti are doing very well in life, very successful babies getting back their second shot at love. Everything is working, but with JLo, it's not working at all in that way. Not only this, but with the Diddy scandal and everything that took place, her name was being dragged into it, especially because of what happened in 1999 with the club shooting in New York and Shine was involved. Her name's being dragged into all of that. And of course, that is something that she does not want. So is this some kind of karmic flow or is this me just being unnecessarily messy, pointing things and comparing things that don't really make any sense? That could also be very much true and maybe you guys can sound off in the comment box below. But one thing we know is that this year for Jennifer Lopez has not been great at all. The fact that her tour was canceled and her highly anticipated album miserably flopped is something that you don't want. This woman just did the Super Bowl three, four years ago, not recently, okay, but with Shakira, and of course that was quite big for her. She has had big singles since then and prior to that, she's had a very good career overall. Let's, you know, agree. Even the movie that came out with the album on Amazon Prime 
also flopped. So flop after flop after flop when it came to her career. And I'm not one to point out somebody flopping in their career. Absolutely not. I don't think there's anything good in doing so. When discussing musicians, I rarely do that on this channel. But I was just comparing it to how Ashanti's life is going right now. Things seem to be going quite well. And I just feel like, is there some form of karmic flow when you steal from others or don't you know, credit others, you use for your own success and it works for you. Will that come back around to bite you? For some people, yes, and for some people, no. I don't honestly think I believe in karma, to be honest with you, because I feel like there are a lot of evil people in this world who've killed huge amount of human beings and have absolutely lived a great life. Like, what do we say for that? So, I don't know. But this whole Jennifer Lopez divorce, nasty. But she's had the worst year and a half of her career. People were discussing it online, and I thought I'd bring this discussion here. I don't imagine this video to gain much traction or much views because I don't or have not been discussing the divorce between these two, but I thought for those who do watch, let's discuss. Subscribe, please. I would appreciate it. It's just one click. Do let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. Sound off in the comment box below because I'm keen to see and read what you guys say, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.